Jesu wipe Kibele ya hili ya ti Edeke wakila wipo Kwa tila kumusika yuri Edeke wakila 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 Jesu wakila wipo Kiyo kukwala na
good in life. We thank you for our creation and our preservation. And we thank you that after all said and done, we shall be recalled back to the world eternal home. Lord, we pray that you will teach us to number our days, that we may give our hearts to wisdom, and the wisdom to practicalize your word, and to live to your honor and glory. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Be seated. People of God, why are we alive? Why are we here or not? Can it be that we are alive? Can it be to tell you as we are living here? When we ask that question, people are quick to think about the physical life. Then they say, we are here to eat and drink. We are here to marry. We are here to have children. We are here to succeed. We are here to be rich. To enjoy life. Some people will try to be philosophical. They will say it is to find fulfillment. And some will try to sound spiritual. They will say it is to fulfill purpose. But when they say this, the question that will follow is, how do we define that purpose? What is our purpose? Even on earth? What gives meaning to life? <laughs> the writer of the book of Ecclesiastes, he resolved this puzzle when he wrote in chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the matter. Fear God. Keep his commandments. For these are the whole duty of man. And our Lord Jesus Christ made it clear when he gave an answer to Satan. In Matthew chapter 4 verse 10. Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou worship. In other words, he meant that life should live in the worship and service of God. Although too much significant and big, there is nearly why just say, Oh, God, no, 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 no. And that is why he went on to say in Matthew 6 33, But seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we want to welcome all of you to this celebration of life of Mama Janet Saida, whom God gave the grace to live to right old age. I'm 
down to did he please the Lord? And with what kind of heart did he serve the Lord? And don't say only God knows their hearts. Brethren, the way a person lives his or her life can give key of balance a clue to how the heart of that person is. Amasaida was a very dedicated member of the church. And that's the church. She served the Lord to the end. In her church society, she was a strong pillar. She held nothing back from God. She served God with her sufferings and with her power. And even as she grew older and her physical power began to decline, you could see that her heart was still with the church. She gave her everything to the things of God till the end. But I believe that I think many things would have been love to achieve before her departure. But the opportunity is gone. Once you bring the last, that's in the end. Only the living, <coughs> you and me, still have the opportunity to achieve certain things when we are still breathing. So this life is for some time. And unless we make use of the opportunity to straighten out our lives, it may become very difficult. I was at a book launch, specifically the book of our dialogue books, one of our guitar issues. The title is Time for Amendment. I find that very difficult. Time for Amendment. I hope so I appreciate in this end time of the world we are in the moment of time for amendment. Everything is gradually moving to an end. Life is short. Take it or leave it. Here we are today. This is a woman who died at 90 plus. If we were only looking at figures, you will think that. 19 years is not long enough, or 94 years. But if you know Mama Sayinga personally, and you have been a beneficiary of her good heart, by now you will be feeling that she died too soon. I will you about it, sort of, I will put her in the table. That's a full call. Her own age is not withstanding. Do you wish we wish him that she lives longer? The woman who has come to celebrate today is a giver. I would be surprised if there are one or two persons here that she promised one thing for the other before her death. If you meet such a person now, you are sure to tell you that Mama died too soon. Even though some of you children must have become grandparents, in your own respect, Mama lived a long life. That is no doubt. And God gave her grace to live well, even if the initial stages were lost, but it did up and it paid off well to the glory of God. And what that implies for those of us who are still alive is that we need to work hard at ensuring that we do not waste our time here on earth. This breath, a little and me, and this our heart beats, they will soon fade away. But before they do, we should finish our course. So we must be ethics and serious. We must serve the Lord with seriousness. We must stop all this attitude of withholding forgiveness against.
against one another. We must stop all this attitude of pursuing hatred and liberty. In the age of life, life, we must stop all this attitude of bearing grudges. It's time wasting. We must stop all this attitude of hitting one another. It's time wasting. It does not produce any positivity. It only increases the enmity between one and the other. We must do what the Lord sends us with a great sense of urgency. In other words, the goal is to quickly reconcile with one another. You may not have the opportunity to be at this again. Today, the opportunity to reconcile with one another for me to share be a shalom to go with God, reconcile the differences. Stop pretending that all is well. I'm not telling you, I'm not a But one of the greatest goodbyes that I give to this great woman is to say, I am sorry to one another. My people, my people, I am sorry. Look, life can be fulfilling if we live it to please God. If life is lived in the light of God's word, at the end, And a happy goodbye because our departure will be a departure into something much better to the glory of God. Beloved people of God, as we celebrate this great woman, I ask you and me today which one do you choose? Heaven or hell? If you choose heaven, Please begin to live for heaven. Begin to live for it from today. Begin to live for it by making sure from this service it is reconciliation. It is apology. It is acceptability. Because on the last day, when death shall close your eyes, you will not have any regret if you setting issues now. Mama Faida lived on us as a candidate of eternity. She lived with eternity on her mind. She prepared for that journey. And today, I believe, she is sleeping in peace. Those who sleep in Jesus Christ, they will rise again to enjoy eternal peace with Jesus. And And for the Christian, Jesus Christ by his own death has taken away the sting of death. So we need not to be afraid. So we can confidently know and believe that today, today, tomorrow, no more. If I die today, I will die no more. We can confidently know and sing it. Hebrews chapter 9, 27. It is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, a judgment. I tell you, on the day of judgment, you cannot plead your own case. In fact, lawyer will go to my own case. You can't plead your case. You can't have a legal person pleading your case for you. Because all our self righteousness are like filthy rats. So the opportunity we have today is to obey Jesus instead of man. To behave him, the King of kings and the Lord of Lords. And by obeying him, it is to begin to decide from this service that it does not matter who the Spirit of God is speaking to today. But Today, I have hated enough. That should be what you'll be taking out of this service. I have disagreed enough. Oh, okay, oh, shema. If I go, I get a feeling. It is to say, 
wa ti olorun wa dipo fori ofe te fi fun wa lati le mu ore fun itakale ere yi wa si wa ji ni owuro yi agbadura ni ko jesu la wa tewo gba lowo wa ise ti ara ore la fe ko je olorun alagbara e si le ipelu agbara yin gbogbo awon to to ko ba ko lati mo re jade wa ase bu fun lo apasinu aye won awon to fe fi sile ti ko ni ola je wa ko se fa ile won a fore sile fun itakale ni re igbe aye wa na ola je ko mo wa sun ni re yi ogo ni foruko mo yin lo wa nigba ta fi na da ise ise wa wo ise na ma je ko jo na ni oruko jesus christ oluwa wa enjoy ka ku le lati da ra oluwa sha oluwa oluwa sha oluwa ajura oluwa
and our work be put to an end. Then in your mercy, give us safe abode. Holy rest, and in the end, everlasting peace through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.
Thank you for coming. 
We appreciate all our fathers, uh, the provost of the cathedral, the very reverend Dr. Dio Olagbaju. We welcome you, sir. The Lord will continue to bless you in Jesus' name. All other fathers, uh, the very reverend Akiyala Daniela, the Venerable H.A. Adi Farasi retired, the Venerable Dodu Akinka, the Reverend Kanon Okwe Olejain, the Reverend Kolomide Agribuyi, the Reverend Kolako, Olaiwala, the Reverend Oyetuji M. Shonibare, the Reverend Orefui, the Reverend Timothy, I A Adidu Kun from the Badu South and the Candelsis. And our lay reader, Mrs. Nike Ojelabi. We appreciate your presence and pray that the Lord will continue to honor all of you in Jesus' name. We equally thank the choir, the instrumentalist, the choir master, and the organist. The Lord will continue to bless you all in Jesus' name. The people's warning. The media crew, the technical crew, and photographers, uh, the guild of stewards, we appreciate all of you. The cleaners, the system, thank you all. The Lord will continue to reward all of you abundantly well in Jesus' name. And to the children of Mama Faiga, it's a prayer that shall continue to be well with all of you in Jesus' name. We pray that you also will live long in the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord will continue to prosper your life, which is goodness in Jesus' name. The interview follows immediately after this service. And I think after the interview, the children have requested that we should come up to them to pray for all of you. So we take our withdrawal here.
last stanza. The last stanza. Jebi o ti wu Olorun Olodumare ninu anu re nla lati gba okan mama wa ologbe Janet Adeyinka Faiga to fi sile lo sodo ara re nitori na a wa fi oku re fun ile who is the first boss A rupee, a little, just a little. Uh huh. A rupee, a little again. A kuru, a kuru, everything now. Near a tea, I gin they see ye. She could nip a coon, nip a say, Jesu Christi, and it tea yo para o she wada. Kyo le libi ara on chikara re, tio lio go. Gege bi ise agbara nipa yi ti ohun le fi teri ohun gbogbo ba fun ara re gbogbo ohun kan lati orun wa tin wi fun mi pe kowe re lati sisin yin lo ibuku ni fun awon oku ti o ku ninu oluwa be le emi wi nitori won si mi kuro ninu la la won Oluwa shanu fun wa Oluwa shanu fun wa baba wa tin be ni orun ya mo furuko re ijoba re de olorun olodumare any tea, a mere one to feel, see the law, Ninoir, Oluan, Bellodore. At the Lord, any tea, or con, I won't dig back bomb, Benin, why your own Irora, laying, but he, I your own crow, Nino, a rara one, talk on, talk on, there are one thing to call our renitory, oh, war, Lati, your mamma, wa, or look, be, Jeanette, a day in Cafaiga, crow, Nino, she, a year, she, ye. I want to be a lot of rare. You only want in who are a rare lati, take a party, ye are one, you're fair rare. A tea, lati, muy job, a rare yarawa. Kia walk with Lugo, I want your fee, you see the law, knee, bag bow, tito, rook or remy more. Kia le knee, a kua tea, rorawan, I, I do queen, knee, ara, a tea yoko, chichi lie, nino go rare, chico, nipper, kuni, passe, Jesu Christi. Oluawa, O merciful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the resurrection and life, in whom whosoever believeth shall live, though he dies, and whosoever liveth and believeth in him shall not die eternally, who also has taught us through his holy apostle Paul not to be sorrowful as men without hope for them that sleep in him. We meekly beseech thee, O oh, Father, to raise us from death of sin unto life of righteousness, Amen. that when we shall depart this life, we may rest in him, as we hope that our mother, late Janet, Ade Inka Faiga, does rest, and that at the general resurrection in the latter day, we may be found acceptable in thy sight, and receive that blessing with thy well beloved son, shall then pronounce to all that love and fear thee, saying, Come ye blessed children of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you from the beginning of the world. Grant this, we beseech thee, O merciful Father, through Jesus Christ, our Mediator and Redeemer. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father Almighty. Amen. Amen.
the name of Jesus Christ, we so far for thee. Amen. And in the name of the Holy Spirit, we shall this day. Amen. The communion with the blessed saints and aided by angels and archangels and all the armies of the heavenly hosts. The peace of God shall be yours from now. Amen. The abode shall be of great joy in heaven. Amen. Amen. And God Almighty, who from the dead brought out our Lord Jesus Christ, resurrect you from death to the saints at the end of time. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. and the fellowship with the Holy Spirit Amen. be with us now and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Okay. Oh, please, please come around. Jebu, where's your? Yeah, just show my hand. Yes. Please, you can have this as many as you want to. Oh, yeah. 